The Ukrainians are doing what they can to defend Solidar, but this is what they're up against, ferocious firepower and indiscriminate carpet bombing of the town now in the path of the Russians' latest push in the Donbass. This was a sanatorium once. Now this is the constant background. It goes on and on. It's relentless now. And there are thousands still trying to live here. Still trying to survive. Their lives have mostly ground to a halt. They just exist and prepare and wait for the next strike, which could come any time and land anywhere. The battle for the Donbass is desperately dirty. American officials have called it a real gunfight, smashing everything in between. People, homes, administrative centres like this one in Solidar. But this used to be his office, did it? This uh, is where you used to work. The advisor to the town's mayor, like so many, just wants an end to all this. There's so much destruction being wrought on this small town, it's going to take a lot of money, a lot of time, but most of all, peace to put it all back together again. This is what is left, Nila tells us about her apartment block. The constant bombing is terrifying, and many believe it's remarkable they've survived this long. They speak of death and loss, like they're lucky not to have suffered more. Mila's daughter was killed in Mariupol two months ago. She couldn't even bury her herself. How old was she? Valia, Valentina. Just 28 and about to be married. How old? Valia. It's our one. It's our one. Сердце не принимает. Такого не принимает ни, по-моему, ни одно материнское сердце. Solidar has been pummeled by bombs. Look at the state of that kitchen. This is someone's home, remember, or it was someone's home. And as the town was showered by airstrikes over a number of days, this is the devastation that it caused. And imagine the terror as this was all going on. Many of the residents are now underground, sheltering in an old Soviet-built bunker from Russian attackers they once saw as family. Whoa, OK. They're not sure how long they'll be here. Hi. But they've prepared for the long haul. Diana is still holding on to her dreams of being a singer and cheers up the adults whilst the bombs are falling in the way only the innocent can manage. It's a TikTok tune she's learnt and it's in Russian. But it does the trick, taking their minds off the destruction and war which is raging above their heads. The Russians are advancing, slowly, but they are advancing here in the Donbass. Можемо витримати без води, без світла, але коли вибухи навколо, це дуже жахливо. Others have come down to the shelter now. There have been three explosions whilst we've been talking to the group already below. They are somehow coping. Like Anton, they have their battered homes, just about. But they're fearful about just how much longer as the Russian army marches closer. Alex Crawford, Sky News, in Solidar, in the Donbass, in eastern Ukraine.